Hi everyone, this is Janice. Long time no see, you guys. I have been missing it in action for a very long time. I did do an update of what's going on with me in my life about two months ago. I will link that either in the corner or down below or both. If you want to watch that, that'd be great. If not, that's okay. In this video, I'm going to do an unboxing. Hmm, imagine it, an unboxing. Thought I better get my feet wet again because boy, am I rusty. But I'm going to do the Beauty Lish. Beauty Lish. It's the Lucky Bag. I have the large, I don't have the extra large, I have the regular one. So I'm going to unbox that for you and show you what I received. And if you're interested in what I received, just keep watching. Before I get started, I'm not going to really do anything personal to the end of the video, so if you want to stay tuned for that, I'll update you a little bit of what's going on. But if you just want to see the unboxing, it's starting right now. All right comes really packaged well. This regular cardboard box, but when you open it up, it comes from San Francisco. Let me show you here. I told you I'm rusty. San Francisco up here in the corner. I don't know if you can see it. So that's excited. It's got Golden Gate Bridge and it's packed by Chris. So that's a nice touch. I do like ordering things from Goodylish. They do an excellent job of packing their products. I've yet to receive anything broken. There's some black paper on top of it. And here, how this comes. Now I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I did peek at this already because I got this a week ago, and I just wasn't quite ready. I didn't have my filming room set up yet, so I thought, well, I want to see. I just couldn't wait. So. I, I know what's in here. They give you a little card. And this year is a Year of the Dragon. I believe this is Japanese Year of the Dragon. Chinese or Japanese. I'm, I'm not sure. I think Japanese. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It says the dragons on this year's lucky bag symbolizes good luck and fortune along with power and change. Boy, I do need that. We hope these surprises are for you you moments of self-love that help you tap into the power in 2024. That's a nice touch. I love this paper. Oh my gosh. So pretty. Okay, this... Okay, I'm going to lift this all. I was trying to lift it all out. <laughs> Comes in a really nice red bubble bag here. It's full to the brim. Here's what I was trying to show you. This paper, so pretty. It's got lipstick on it. Looks like it's got little kitty cats. That's a little piggy. Uh, looks like it's a dragon, yeah. Perfume, blushes, mushrooms. Yeah, just very, very pretty. I usually save these and uh, do some crafts with it. So I'm gonna set this down here. All right, let's see here. Let's start pulling things out. The first thing I'm pulling out to show you is something from Good Molecules. It is the hydrating facial cleansing gel. I do like this brand. I have quite a few skin products from that brand and I, I enjoy them and they're very reasonably priced. So I'm pretty excited about getting this. It's a cleansing gel. So a gentle cleanser to leave skin feeling balanced and hydrated. As long as it doesn't dry me out, um, I'm sure it'll be fine. It don't sound like it will. I do have very dry skin, especially in the winter, more so than in the summer. Let's see if here's, yeah, safety seal. I'm not gonna open it because I've already got a couple tubes of cleanser opened. 
But as soon as I use those up, I'll try this. I'm sure I'll like it because I do like this brand. Okay, what else do we have here? I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it out on here. That way I don't make all that noise for you. I have a brush. Always get a brush in these boxes. Um, last time I got a Wayne Goss. This time it's a Sonia G. And I've never had her brushes. It's a natural hair bristles. And this is the Pro. Um, it's the it's made in Japan. And it's the... Oh, I can't say that word. Anyway, it's a Pro. It looks like you can use it for a blush or whatever. And... Man, it's nice and soft. So I've never tried her brushes and I've always wanted to. I just, you know, they're high high quality and of course they're priced accordingly. Yeah. I'm going to try to remember when I edit this to put the prices over here of these items. So you know and you know what, oh yeah, let's, let's back up a little bit. I'm getting ahead of myself. This, this box costs $75 plus shipping and tax for your state tax so yeah um, I'm in Illinois now so it's a little higher state tax here than it was in Michigan by a couple cents not too bad but the next thing next thing is from R and Co crystal halo balancing scalp scrub shampoo now I have a few products from this hairline and I really love it um, they're Conditioning spray is wonderful. Their dry shampoo, really like it. And this is a scrub for your, your scalp. So, hmm, I don't usually use that, but I'll try it. Okay, so I got that. Okay, it's one, two, three. I don't want to get mixed up here. I stick that back there. I got. Oh, <laughs> I ordered some stuff from Elf, and yeah, but I'll I'll do another unboxing about that. Hopefully, in the next video. Yeah, because I want to start using it. Okay. Um, next thing is a lipstick, and it's from Mob. It's on cardboard packaging here, and. It's a refill, okay? It's a really pretty color. Let's see, what is the color? It is Rouge Rouge. I can't say the other half. And here is the case for it. Just a black case. Let's see, I'm gonna stick it in here. And just like that. Hair. Just wash my hair, my hair falls out after I wash it. So yeah. And it it's that type of lipstick with a flat edge. I kind of like the more tapered edge, but oh well. Here is the color. And I did try it the other day, and it's so nice. It's very silky and smooth. I don't want to pop right out. Oh, I gotta push it in. So yeah, that's really pretty. It's a pretty color. Okay. And the next thing I received, something from Wayne Goss, is the Essential Lip Pencil. I have something from Wayne Goss. He's he's um changing his brand a little bit, revamping it. So I'm excited for him to do that, and I definitely will try try it when he gets it going. This is really pretty. It's a nice neutral color. It's a pencil, and it looks like it'll go with this lipstick pretty well. It's really smooth too see that. Hmm. So, got that. And 
I got something from Busy Art. It is a, I think it's a face palette. Yeah. Um, to go over it. Busy Art is a very nice brand. It's very highly pigmented and it's very, I have a couple of Busy Art palettes and I really like them. So that is that. Looks like it's blushes and four uh, eyeshadows. So it's a, like a peachy blush and a pink blush, I believe. Okay, don't mind my fingers. They're a little wrinkly. It's my age, okay? There it is there. That's just one swipe. Very nice. It's soft. Okay, and I forgot to grab wipes. I uh, just, well, this one color is pretty, it's like a pink. That's the eyeshadow. And, um, there you go, I can my thumb. It's one of the colors. That's the shimmer, and there's a peachy shimmer, or golden shimmer. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the matte, the brown matte down here next to the pink oh that's nice yeah it's nice it's, I like it um, because it's high quality obviously and, and it lasts a long time all day it goes on I think it's good and very little fallout if any and it's also small, so if you do go on little trips, uh, you can carry it along. Okay, I'm just going to do those colors because I ran out of fingers. Okay, the last thing I received is another item from Wayne Goss. I was really excited when I got this. It is an, his eyeshadow. It's his eyeshadow palette. It's the Luxury Eye Palette. It's in the color Amber. Okay, I got it open here. And it has um, six shades. They're all in numbered, so no names. Did the Vizier have names? I don't believe they did. I find a lot of these higher. Luxury brands don't name their shadows, which is eh, really not necessary. It comes in a black case, plastic, nice and sturdy. He is going to revamp his packaging. So that's, he said he wanted it nicer than this. So this is pretty nice. So, oh well. And it has a mirror. I got a plastic on it. And here is, here are the colors. Okay. Very pretty. Like there's one, two, three, four mats, the top three in the middle. This one down here looks like it's a mat with glitter. And this is a shimmer, like a topper. So yeah. Okay, if I didn't forget anything by putting it not putting it back in there, this is it. So I've got Wayne Goss eyeshadow, a Viseart eyeshadow and blush palette, a lip pencil from Wayne Goss, a lipstick from Mob. I never heard of that brand. The Good Molecules facial cleanser. The Sonia G Pro Makeup Brush. And last but not least, a Balancing Scrub Shampoo from R & Co. So um, I got my money's worth, that's for sure. Pretty happy. First, when I first opened it, I thought, uh, I'm a little disappointed. I don't know why I was disappointed, because now that I 
sit back and think about it, I'm going, well, Janice, this is nice. You don't have none of these things. So everything is new to me. I mean, the brand Vizier isn't, but I like that brand and, and Good Molecules and Argo. So those three brands were not new to me, but I really like the brands. But I got brands, you know, that I never used before. So yeah, so very happy. Again, it was $75 plus shipping and tax. And I'm going to look them up and go ahead and put the prices on the side here so you know what they're worth. I should have did it before I filmed so I could have told you, but I forgot. Okay. But, yeah, I'll do that for you. All right. If, if you ha uh, are going to have to leave, I appreciate you did stop in and see what I received in my Lucky Bag from Beautylish. If you haven't subscribed already, I would appreciate if you would subscribe. Help, help me out a lot and start growing my channel. I'm sure it's a dead stop. <laughs> like this video if you liked it. Hopefully you did. And comment. Uh, did you get the Lucky Bag this year? Oh, by the way, it only comes once a year. And you order the 26th of December. And it comes a couple weeks in in January, so it's a 2024. It's not 2023, which I thought it was. Oh, so that's yeah. Anyway, yeah. So the last couple of years, I forgot to put the reminder on. I missed it. So this year, I did. And I was a little strapped for funds this year, but I thought, you know what? I'm just going to do it because I wanted to do it. So that's okay. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, and share this video if you'd like. I guess that's it. So thank you again for stopping in and saying hi. Well, at least checking me out. For those who stayed, uh, just a little background real quick. Update, I mean, on what's been going on with me. If you watched the other video, you know I went through a divorce. And I packed up my belongings, personal items, and some furniture and just just what I needed and moved down to Illinois um, I was living in Michigan I just wanted to get away and I had a window of opportunity to come down here because I have family down here besides up there I do up there too but I haven't seen this side of the family for many years I've seen them but real briefly I haven't really spent any quality time it's my son and his family so I'm getting to know my, well, I knew my grandchildren, but I'm getting, you know, interact with them more often. And also meet my great-grandchildren. I have three great-grandchildren from this side of the family. I have a little girl and two boys. So that's really exciting. They're uh, only four, three, and almost two. Not quite two. So they're stair steps. She's got her hands full, but they are adorable. I did meet them Christmas Day, and I need to get over there and spend some more time with them. i just been trying to get settled in here. I moved the second week of December of last year, and this is January. Today's January 25th. Oh, yeah, it's my oldest daughter's birthday. So, it's the first time I've not, I, well, not the first time, but in a long time, I haven't been with her on her birthday. But... It's okay. Um, so I'm, I talked to her the other day. So she, she's doing good. She's doing well. So she understands. And her and my other daughter both encouraged me to come down here and spend time with their brother. So I plan on being here at least a year or maybe two. I'm not sure. It just depends how things go. So it just depends how things go. And... I really like it down here. I live right in downtown. So I've got people all around me. I'm downtown, like shopping areas, like a couple blocks away. I get in my car. I can drive two blocks I'm to a Kroger's, a drugstore, you name it. I mean, I'm right there. So that's exciting. Um, the town here has, <laughs> between doggies and the phone. Wesley, no, no. 
Okay. How put this out yet? They have a lot of shopping malls here, a couple of them. Which, wow, I mean, yeah, where I'm from, they're the like, obsolete almost. I mean, really. And some really, really good restaurants. I My son Bart took me to one really good one, and we'll go to more. It's just through the holidays, you know, we've been doing other things. And um, tonight, I'm not sure if he's coming over tonight to take me out, but if he does it tonight, he probably will tomorrow night. I'm not sure, it don't matter, but. Um, he tries to get with me at least once a week. Sometimes, last week I seen him twice, so that was great. Boy, it seems nice to have my son just come over and visit me. I've never had that in my whole adult life. His adult life. Not my adult life. His adult life. So it is so nice. I'm enjoying myself so much. I feel very, very content. Uh... And I'm actually running one of his houses that he owns. Him and his wife has a business of rental properties. So one came up available. That's why I suddenly came because it was open. I thought, well, but I take it now because it's a sign. It's a sign. I should get down here and see this side of the family, spend some time with them. And as soon as the weather starts getting a little nicer, getting out a little more, we'll start doing more things. You know, wintertime. I tend to hibernate. It's chilly. And it's a good thing, though, because I got to unpack everything. And now I'm organizing. And now I'm kind of re-organizing. Um, I put all my makeup away. However, I want to go through and kind of re-categorize it. But I'll do that later. But everything is livable. Um, it's a little house, two-bedroom home. It's got a fence and backyard for my dogs. I brought two of my dogs, Wesley and Hazel May. So I have them with me. So I have company. See what else? Um, oh, I was job hunting as soon as I got here. First job didn't pan out. I uh, got another job. I worked a few days and. Uh, one of the groomers there were upset because she hired me because she says, ah, we don't need no more groomers, blah, 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 you know. I thought, well, she wouldn't have hired me. She didn't need me. So I don't know what that's about. But I don't want to work for a place where someone is it's going to be drama. I don't. I refuse to work where someone is upset. I mean, she didn't even know me. She already talked to me. And I wasn't taking over any of her grooms. We... I, I was like the overflow girl, you know, taking the extras. And I'm only working a couple days a week. So I was like, oh my gosh. But anyway, I thought, you know what? It's fine. So I went out and looked for another job. And I called this lady up. She sounded really nice. She was really excited. She says, can you come by this afternoon? So I did. We talked for a couple hours and she um, hired me. And I start this Tuesday. So I'm excited actually go either tomorrow or the next day to set up my area and I'm really excited it sounds promising I hope it works out it's a lot bigger establishment there's more than one groomer there there's several there's bathers and each groomer does different types of dogs um, and cats so we we get to pick and choose what type of dog we want to do we don't have to do a dog we feel uncomfortable which it's nice because just because you're a pet groomer doesn't mean you, you want or can do every single pet that comes in. Sometimes a dog may like a different personality or um, oh, they can kind of sense the kind of person you are, you know, a calm person. And like the older dogs, the young dogs like that. But if the dog's real hyper, maybe the other ones who can work a little faster, they can do that type of dog. Or they do bigger dogs, which I can do big dogs, but I prefer not to do too many because I'm short, I'm small stature, and a little hard on me because they do tug and pull on you. You know, I don't want to wrestle with them. So I don't have to do a big dog if I don't want to. And I probably won't unless it's like a standard poodle. I'll do that. And, and then they got a couple of guys who do the big dog bathing, but well, that's great because I prefer not to do that. It's just hard, hard work. I have done it. I mean, I, I worked for this one lady a couple of years ago. I was helping her out. She opened a shop and um, 
I just did the big dogs. It's not that I can't, I just prefer not to now. You know, I'm older and I kind of want to save my body. I've had two surgeries, right and left shoulder replacements and a right knee replacement. That's what I did last year, by the way. I was laid up a lot, a lot of pain. So that's another reason why, actually it's the main reason why I didn't upload much. I just, I'm the kind of person who, who can do this and not feel well. I mean, some people can, I just, I don't, <laughs> but I, I wanted to, I just didn't, didn't. So anyway, that's it in a nutshell. There's more ins and outs, but nothing I'm gonna elaborate anymore because I kept you long enough. But I do appreciate you staying to the end and just listening to me. I, yeah, I gotta make some friends. I don't have any friends down here yet. I'm all by myself besides my family which is great. So I guess you are going to be my friends from now on, which you always were, but I want to get more involved on YouTube. I, I have plans. So darn it, I'm going to do it. I am going to do it. I just got to get off my butt and do it. <laughs> All right, everyone. You have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. And at the end of the plus shipping, plus shipping. Oh my goodness, that didn't come in here. Oh, I just put it here. I hope I remember to put everything in here that came. Yeah, I hope so. Because it's the essential.